Tuesday doesn't mean you get to bust in here and dance on my desk. I mean, you got some good moves, but still, it's a man's desk. Everybody, here we are. Welcome to Music Tuesday. Yes, we are cruising right along through this week and it is outstanding. So let's get started with a little. What are you talking about? What have we been talking about? We're talking about Halloween stuff, of course. So, on Music Tuesday, we got to talk Halloween music, man. All right, so I'm going to give you a list of some of the best, in my opinion, Halloween songs. Now, some of them maybe you don't want to listen to at a Halloween party, but. From a Halloween standpoint, these are pretty cool songs. But before we get into those Halloween songs, don't forget this Friday is our Oktoberfest live event from 10.30 to 12.30 on Friday. It's going to be outstanding. We're going to have competitions between the staff. You're going to love it. You guys are going to participate. Choosing which staffs you think you're going to... Staffs? Choosing which staff you think you're going to win. <laughs> and then, of course, right after this, we've got our social media social walk facebook live 10 o'clock and then right after that we got our exercise with clayton and joe sweating with the oldies at 10 30 so lots of stuff going on today all right let's get into some cool music picks oh, hold on hey bills up uh, how's it going buddy uh-huh uh-huh yes yes it's on the list yes uh, no, um, no, Celine Dion did not make the list. Yeah, I, I know she's good, but not really Halloween music. I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to put Celine Dion on the list. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, that one's on the list. Yep, we got that one on the list. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right, so uh, sorry for the interruption there, but you know when the when the big guy calls, well, when that guy calls, you got to take it. All right, here we go with that list. So first on my list, now this is in semi particular order, maybe least of my favorites to the best. Starting with Ozzy Osbourne's "Bark at the Moon." Now these lyrics actually are much friendlier than you would think not really about a werewolf uh, killing people or anything like that and that came out in 1983 that's Ozzy Osbourne's Bark at the Moon then we got of course we got to do Ghostbusters great movie great Halloween movie you've got to check that one out as well but the theme song by Ray Parker Jr man it's a song that gets you going it's a really cool song now interesting note about this the group the band Huey Lewis and the News it was very similar sound to the Huey Lewis and the News song. So Huey Lewis, the gentleman from that band, did not sue Ray Parker. The record label sued Ray Parker. And actually, they didn't sue Ray Parker directly. They sued Columbia Pictures that made the movie that wanted the song. So the lot, if you look it up, it's like Huey Lewis sues Ray Parker. No, that's not how it went down. Huey Lewis and the News, the band record label, sued Columbia Pictures, who asked Ray Parker to write the song and already had the music, by the way. <laughs> All right, and of course, you gotta have Werewolves in London. Written by a gentleman whose stage name was Excitable Box. And in 1978, Werewolves in London came out. Big hit, great song. It's a fun song. I don't know where they kind of came up with it. I didn't do too much research on it, but it's a great song. You gotta have it on your Halloween listen to list. And then of course, This Is Halloween from Nightmare Before Christmas, the Disney classic. Great, great song. Now, not to be confused with the Marilyn Manson Nightmare song. A little different, but still 
good. So you can listen to both. And then of course we got the Monster Mash. You gotta listen to the Monster Mash. Written by Bobby Pickett and the Crypt Keepers. I think these guys were on a mission to write Halloween music. Your name is Bobby Pickett. Well, that's a little innocuous. But the band, the Crypt Keepers? Well, that's pretty on the nose there. So, and that was written in 1962. So really, in 1962, Halloween was a lot creepier than it is now. Not from a costume standpoint, but what people thought was really going on out there in the scary world. Okay, now, many of you aren't gonna know the song. You've probably heard it, but back in the late 80s, early 90s, there was a show on TV called The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And this was starring Will Smith, who previously, before this TV series, was known as the Fresh Prince for the band, the rap group, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Now this came out in 1988 and is called A Nightmare on My Street. And it's a spoof of one of their songs and their kind of music. And it's also a spoof on A Nightmare on Elm Street, the movie series that was on last Friday's Binge Worthy Weekend Movie Halloween movie series marathon movies. Yeah. So you got to check that one out. It's a really good song. Will Smith is super funny. When they did these songs like this, they did a really good job. So you'll enjoy that one. That's it's great. And the video, which you can find on YouTube, is really funny as well. Now, my second to last song pick is Rockwell's Somebody's Watching Me. Now this is a great song. I don't think he really intended it to become a Halloween musical classic, but it did. But it's a pretty creepy song. Even the, even the music to it is a little on the creepy side. And the storyline is a little bit of Peeping Tom-ish, but very much a creepy kind of song. It worked out really well. Came out in 1984, and really in the 80s, in the mid 80s, we're at the height of horror movies, you know, with the Nightmare on Elm Street and the Friday the 13th and all these kind of horror movies. And Halloween was a big deal during these times. It was great. We had so much fun. This song is awesome. I like it even when it's not Halloween time. It's just a great tune. All right, and of course, you have to have Michael Jackson's Thriller on the list. Like him, love him, hate him, whatever you want about Michael Jackson, this song, this video is simply the best. And there's just no denying it. The video is outstanding, especially if you watch the movie piece in the beginning, it's totally awesome. The dance sequence, really killer. The, the entire thing, the ending, super unsuspecting. You didn't know that was gonna happen, so you watch the whole thing together, you really, you go from a, you go from a live action movie to uh, their personal lives, to the music video, back to their personal lives, and into the movie again. It's, it's outstanding, and back to their, and back to their lives. It's really, really, the way they did it was really, really cool. And to be doing that back in 1982, blowing everybody away because they were breaking all the rules of music videos which were still kind of coming of age at the time breaking the rules of movies breaking the rules of tv shows and breaking the rules of michael jackson how could michael jackson be a werewolf killer impossible at the time now like i said take him or leave him this is a great song this is quintessential halloween music so you got to check it out at some point or another and listen to it over and over and over again and of course try to do the dance moves you know the <laughs> that kind of thing. All right, so that's it for me with some cool music for you. Check it out. Have fun during this Halloween season. And let's see what kind of cool fun our ghoulish friends got for us today. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, October the 6th. International Day today is National Mad Hatter. It means so many things. I believe they're talking about the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland. But perhaps they're talking about just mad people. People have gone mad. It's the month of October. It could be. Anyway, however you want to take the day, it's Mad Hatter Day. You could have lots of hats. Be a Mad Hatter of hats. I have lots of hats. I like hats. More hats. Oh, let's 
let's go for another one and another one. So everybody today, remember it's Mad Hatter Day. Get mad with your hats. <laughs> hey, it's Music Tuesday. Can you name the song? The videos are over. Okay, thank you, Buzzweb. All right, bye. Ah, guys calling all the time. All right, those ghouls were awesome. That was outstanding. I love what they're doing. We're having so much fun. All right, guys, it is Tuesday, so have an awesome rest of your day. Remember, 10 o'clock, social media, social walk, 10.30, exercise, sweating with all this Clayton and Joe. Have a great Tuesday. We will see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Take care. Woo!